Hello everyone, welcome to AJ Programming Solutions. So in last video we have seen what is at the rate component annotation and in today's video we are going to see what is at the rate at a wired annotation. Okay, so let me just create a scenario so that I can explain you what is at the rate at a wired annotation. Okay, so this is very simple project which we have created in our last session. Okay, now I have removed our demo controller. So let me just remove this package also. Now I just have very simple Spring Boot demo application and uh, inside this demo application we have this main method okay now what i want i want to create one uh, class and i will give the class name as maybe employee controller okay and this employee controller i want to be in the controller package okay so i have just changed the package name also so now inside my controller i have employee controller okay now inside this employee controller okay what i want i will just annotate it with at the rate component annotation so that this uh, class will be considered for the creation of the bean by the spring itself right so if it is at the rate component annotation it means that spring will create the bean for this employee controller we don't have to create the bean by ourselves okay now inside this employee controller what i want i want to write one method very simple method uh, let's suppose public void or maybe before that what i need i need to create the employee okay so let me just right click here new and class and i will just create the class employee and that employee class should be in my uh, model package okay now inside this employee i just want to uh, have some fields so private int employee id and maybe private string name of the employee okay only these two fields i will just keep and then i will just add uh, maybe the getter and setter for these two fields so getter and setter select all and generate the getter and setter and also i need one employee constructor this is my no argument constructor and also i need to generate the two string method okay so i will just generate the two string method this is my simple employee class okay now let's just go to our employee controller and in the employee controller what i want i want to write a method which will print a list of employees okay so this method will just print the list of the employees so i will just write the method here maybe public what will be the return type of this method list of employees okay so list of employees okay so very first let's just import the list and then employee this method will return list of employee so here i will just write maybe get uh, list of employees okay this is my method this will return us the list of employee for now i am just making it as a null okay now as this is my controller okay i don't want to write the logic of getting all the employees in this class okay so what i will do for our business logic i will just create a separate service layer so right click here click on new class and i will just create the class employee service and this should be in our service package okay now inside this service package what i want i want to uh, write a method uh, which is uh, public sorry uh, public list of employees and method name will be get list of employees right so this is my method and what this method will do this method will get us the list of employees okay so here let me just create a list of employees first so list 
of employee maybe emp list okay so this is my emp list and this emp list i just want to return here okay so i will just return that emp list okay but now if you see here we have not initialized this employee list right so what i want whenever we create uh, or whenever we execute this application i want some employees to be inserted in this emp list okay so for that i will just write here a simple method public void i need okay and inside this method we will just initialize this employee list okay so how we can initialize here i will be writing emp list is equal to new array list and then here i will create some employee so employee e1 is equal to new employee and let me just set the value so e1 dot set id will be 1 and then e1 dot set name will be um, shilpa okay and i will create one more employee so employee e2 is equal to new employee and here also i will be writing e2 dot set id uh, id will be 2 and then e2 dot set name and i will be giving the name as a tina okay so i have two employees now i want to add these employees in our employee list right so how we can add it here i will be writing emp list dot add first employee which is e1 and after that emp list dot add second employee which is e2 okay so these are two employees we have added now what i want whenever we are executing the application very first i want to uh, run this i need method so for that we have uh, one annotation at the rate post construct Right, so this is a bean life cycle annotation which is post construct okay so now what will happen this employee list will get constructed here or initialized here and now we are just returning that employee list here right so now what i can do i can just save this and go to our employee controller and inside this employee controller i want to call that method right so now if i want to call this method which is in our employee service class then what what first i need to do i need the object of this employee service okay so for that very first we need to go to the employee controller now i want to call that method so here we need the employee service service right and now what by using this service i can call that method right so how i can call here maybe i can write service dot get list of employees and this get list of employee will return me the list of employees so here i will be having list of employees and i can just return that list of employees right now if you see this employee controller is now dependent on employee service right so before like uh, in this employee controller first this employee service object should get created or employee service bean should be there so that by using that bean we can call get list of employees method right and if we need the bean what we need to do if we don't want to create the bean by ourselves and spring we want the spring to create the bean we will go to the employee service and here i will be annotating this width at the rate component okay at the rate component is stereotype annotation right so you can annotate with at the rate component or at the rate service at the rate service is the same thing like at the rate component only okay but for now let's just annotate with at the rate component in the next session I will explain you what is at the rate service, what is at the rate controller, what is at the rate repository. Okay, so that time we will understand it. For now, let's just keep as a at the rate component. Okay, now I have make it, made this class as at the rate component. So Spring will create the bean for this. 
okay now in this employee controller here we just return employee service and by using this service we are calling get list of employees right now if i save okay and execute the code maybe if i rerun the project let's see what happened here okay so the project just started here okay but we are not getting any output we are expecting that we should get this list of employees right so to get the list of employees what i will be doing first i will just go to our main project here in the spring boot demo application okay and here what i will be doing context dot get bean okay and which bean we need we need the employee controller dot class right and let me just assign a variable assign a statement to new local variable this is my employee controller bean so now by using this employee controller bean here we can call the method employee controller dot uh, get list of employees right and now i want these to be inside uh, the sysout statement so sysout and i will just call this method so that in the output we will get all the employee details okay now save and rerun the project see are we getting the output or not see here what happened we are not getting the required output instead we are getting null pointer exception okay uh, where is my console okay let me just rerun the project again yes see here we are getting the null pointer exception and what it is saying say a null pointer exception for what employee service dot get list of employees because this dot service is null which means what it is saying if you go to this employee controller line number 20 here it is saying that this service is null and that's the reason if you try to perform any operations on the null you will get null pointer exception right so we don't want that so here problem is that this service is not yet initialized right here if you see in the employee service we have marked it as at the rate component right but we need to auto wire it right so now if you want to auto wire this employee service you can just write here at the rate auto wired okay and now if you are writing here at the rate auto wired this employee service will get initialized and now if i execute the code again see the output we are getting all the employees employee 1 is shilpa shilpa and employee 2 is tina right so we are getting these two employees so at the rate at a wide annotation we are using so that this service will get initialized if we are not writing here at the rate at a wired we will get null pointer exception okay i hope this is clear to you when we should use at the rate at a wired and what is at the rate at a wired annotation okay if you have any questions please mention in the comment section and if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you